an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we're back with another lit video. Back in the confessional, yeah, we stand lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day, and shout out to the homie Lucky Wilson Deals, man. We keeping it lit, man. Hey, man, we got another another reaction to Loved by Erica, the surviving document documentary, okay? Documentary, whatever the hell. Anyway, surviving Love by Erica. In this Surviving Love by Erica document, documentary, everyone will get a chance to know the real me. Not just what you've heard or what you think, but the authentic Erica. You will get a chance to see where I come from, the home I grew up in, and anything else you may have wondered about over the years. So go ahead and add Survivor to the many of names people have labeled me. Let's get into it. They had bought a vehicle, guys, for three hundred dollars. Like that's all that you know. My mom could afford, and it was enough to get us from. And we we, we were standing in Nacogdoches, Texas, and it was just enough to get us to Walmart. Bruh, I knew she lit. I don't know what made me say Nacogdoches, but I just knew it. I just I just knew it. I was like. She look like she from Nacogdoches. And yep, she might not be from from there, but that's where she get her ghetto country from right there. It was like maybe three miles up the street and, and back. And on the way, cause the vehicle, it was like a little hoopty cash car for $300. It had no air in there y'all. Like y'all know Texas get all the way up to 109 degrees. It can in the summer time and um we like was on the side of the road like at least two or three times on the way there two or, two or three times on the way back the car was getting overheated and my my mom and her husband would keep a big gallon of water but um but yeah those were some of uh, some of the most Worst memories that I ever had as a kid. If you Google Nacogdoches crimes, the schools, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It was, I've never seen nothing like it. They were like bulldogs just growling at me for being a new kid. And they was talking about my clothes because my mom, like we was poor. We couldn't afford like, you know, nice designer things. And... I remember my mother could only afford me shoes out of the Dollar General. Those of you that is familiar with the Dollar General, you guys know that they got some shoes in there. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no Balenciagas or Nikes or whatever, but that's all we had at the time. And this girl embarrassed me in front of everybody. And she was like, um, girl, did you get them shoes from the Dollar General? And I was like, uh, no. Like, I'm telling you, like, you could tell that they came from the Dollar General. Like, the shoes didn't even have shoestrings, y'all. Like, they was the, the, the things that flapped over. And so, um, one day, I just got tired of her and stood up for myself. Because, you know, like, when it comes to bullying and stuff like that, like, sometimes people, they don't stick up for you or they don't say nothing because they're afraid to. And so I started standing up for myself. And that, that also kind of like seeped over into my adult life. I've always felt like nobody has ever had my back. Even now, like with everything that has taken place in my life, I'm 30 years old and I still feel the same way. And I don't feel like anybody should feel that way, but I do. So if y'all want to know why she projects a bunch of negativity out there, it's, it's due to her childhood trauma. It is absolutely dude. Now and, and I don't know her too much but from the few videos I've seen of her. But in everything that I've heard from her, it's all stemming from her childhood trauma. Also wanting to fit in, but then also projecting the bullying that she endured as a kid. She she does that to other people. Cause I've heard some stories. Let me tell y'all a story. Like I said, I had a story time for y'all. And I want y'all to hear this. If, 
y'all would think I y'all would think if if y'all heard this story, y'all would think that it was like a movie. Somebody else found out, found him, and paid him to come forward and spread a rumor, making it sound like somebody had HIV. That person also had her ex-husband say that the DNA tested their son a few years after he was born and they were still married and found out that he was not the biological child. Somebody had this man reveal that online and the son was eight years old and knew nothing about it. Okay, then that same somebody was supposed to have a, ba a, a twin with another baby and that baby died at birth. But come to find out she was never pregnant and lied to everyone until the baby was born. She even had a baby shower with the twins. Now, if you can put those names together And let me just say it does involve Erica, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna reveal just yet, y'all. But if y'all watching, y'all know that it's so crazy that so much drama can come from this lady that's all projected from her childhood. All this stuff, the hate and the bullying and stuff like that, and the deception, all stems from her childhood. And if you listening to this, if you watch this, um Surviving Erica, Love by Erica. Man, it's pretty sad, dog. It make you wanna, like, just right now where we at that first, that first video. I was like, damn, on it. Uh, this is a video where she about to cry, so I'm, I'm waiting to see what she crying about. Like, it's just funny because like now I look back, I used to hate my hair, y'all, because I was always getting picked on from having like, um, like pigtails in the fifth grade. Like, guys, if y'all have daughters. Don't have them because nowadays fifth graders look like us. Like, don't have your kids wearing no hair bows and ponytails. <laughs> Not in the fifth grade, okay? And I was doing that. So, this girl, uh, her name was Raven Decker. If you're watching this, thank you for saving my life. But um, she used to do my hair. She used to take my hair down in the morning time. She would do like this uh, ponytail up where you have like this updo, downdo. And, like, whenever I would get back on the bus to go back home, she would fix my hair back the way that it was so that my mama wouldn't notice. One day, the bus lady decided to snitch on me and call my mama and tell my mama what was going on. And I got a whooping. Whatever. Nosy ass bus driver. Now, you know this woman already going through some stuff. And then you call her, man... I blame a lot of this on the mama. The mama is putting this girl through a lot of mess. And so I had to like just go to school with two pigtails up here and one in the back. Reminder of like where I come from, okay? But in this house, I feel like house, you walk in, that was one mattress. I want to say maybe queen or king. It wasn't a bed. It was definitely not a bed. It was like a mattress just laid on the floor that me and my two brothers shared. My oldest brother against the wall, my youngest brother in the middle, and I'm towards the end. And then there was another bed where my mom and her husband slept. The house had no bathroom at all. Damn. The house was never built to have a bathroom. What we did was we used the bathroom in a empty paint bucket. Get the, oh my God. I don't know about this dog. Like at first I was just like, first I was just like, okay. It's cool. You had a hard life, but this is hard. You got a poop in a bucket 
Girl, we born in the same, like, decade. And you pooping in a bucket? That's crazy. Well, no, she might be born in, like, 92. But still, being born in 92 and you, you pooping in a bucket? I don't know who to blame, you or your mama, for the way you turned out. And your mama's husband. That my mom had to get my oldest brother to dump out in the woods every morning. Dang. That's crazy. This was the, paint, the empty paint bucket that we had to use the bathroom in. Get the paint bucket. It's still outside, y'all. No lie. The paint bucket is still outside. This is absolutely insane. I cannot believe this. After all these years, the paint bucket is still outside. I hope she look into it. That don't look like a bunch of pooping in it. And no wonder the grass so green over there. <laughs> all that fertilizer. I know I shouldn't be laughing. I just want to give you a hug. Okay, because you this, I get it. Let me step back. I don't want to give you too close a hug. You might end up pregnant. But this, I, I get it. I, it totally makes sense. Now, where you come from and you're getting bullied online and people don't like you. And, but, like, listen, man. Just watching the comments that's on my, my video about you. Dog, it's a lot of stuff you did, but you not you not addressing it. You just moving on. I've heard so much stuff, so much drama behind you, and I get where it comes from. Now I know, and I, I ain't no psychologist, but girl, you need therapy, not you, not YouTube. We don't don't nobody care. Don't don't people online do not care about this. Now I'm gonna be honest, it does change the way I think about you and what I'm going to say about you because it sounds like to me you got a lot of stuff going on and you need to address that with a therapist and not with these YouTube people who uh, comment on your life and comment in your videos and comment on other people's videos. That's not who you need therapy from or you need to, uh, that's not who you need to vent to, okay? So get you some help, Erica. I'm gonna finish watching this documentary, Everyday People, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna holler at you later, peace. <laughs>